So as you probably know, it can be very hard to make clean curves and line work with a USB tablet. And what you're looking at here is sort of a worst case scenario. This mechanical prop is very technical. It's got a lot of cylindrical forms, which means tons of ovals. You can also call these ellipses. So if I were to approach this sort of design on paper, I'd be definitely making use of some mechanical aids like ellipse templates and rulers. But since I'm working in Photoshop, I'm gonna take similar advantage of its mechanical aids. You could try and freehand something like this, but I think that a more controlled, constructive approach is gonna end up giving you the results that you're looking for. But as a quick reminder, if you look below the post, you'll find links for free brushes and worksheets, as well as in-depth premium series available in the Control Paint store. So it usually starts with a very rough thing, like number one, and then I go on to number two, refining the line work, which allows me to be prepared for number three, where I do the actual painting. But today, let's start off simple. Let's just draw some basic shapes. So at its most basic, I'm gonna be using what I've called temp layers in the past. So I'll be getting confident strokes by making a new layer each time, drawing the line, in a lot of cases beyond where I want it to go to, and then erasing away what I don't want. And then I'll make a new layer, draw further than I want, erase away the edge. And this is especially useful with something like this circular cutout. You'll notice that I've got one line defining the edge of the triangle and a cutout. So I could either approach it by drawing the line, then drawing the cutout, and then drawing the other line. But then these two might not make a parallel line. So the better approach is to draw the entire straight line first, then draw the curve, and then erase away the part of the straight line that you don't need. But it can get even better when you draw the curve with Photoshop's help. So for some curve like this, I'd be using the elliptical marquee. And then I'll use the edit stroke, and I'll set it to about the same width that my, my pen was using. So two pixels, and I hit OK, and I'll deselect. And now what I've got here is a little oval that's a line. So since it's not in quite the exact right perspective, I'll use Control-T, or Free Transform, to move it into the right perspective and confirm, and then erase away what I don't want. And then I go back to the line art layer, the one half of the triangle, and I erase away where I don't need that. And once I'm happy with all these, I'll just flatten them together. And what I'm left with is my nice clean lines. So to get a handle on some of the scenarios that'll come up while you're doing line work, I've created this simple worksheet. So I'm gonna do a few of the examples, and then I'm gonna put it up on the blog so you guys can try the rest. So you've already seen me doing straight edges, and those are easy. Click, shift click. Gives you nice straight lines. So that works for the triangle as well. These ovals are good because they're slightly off axis, which means I can't select them perfectly with the elliptical marquee. So I'll get them close and then free transform them into place. Make a new layer. Maybe I'll stroke this one with three pixels so you can see it a little better. Okay, and so on. Now some of these have two different parts. They have both a straight edge, but they also have an oval edge. So I'd make them in two separate layers and then erase away what I don't need and then flatten them down to be a single layer. So this is a great opportunity to use the pen tool. Now I'll only use this on the especially tricky ones, but it's good because it has both straight edges as well as curved edges. Now this is really just a case of practicing using the pen tool, but I'll use my action to turn it into a selection and then stroke it. And there you go. So in this case, I have sort of the edge of an ellipse plus some straight lines. So maybe I'll make the straight lines first and then drag an ellipse template there, stroke it, deselect, and erase away what I don't need. So I'm always keeping an eye out for what would be the quickest way to sort of build these shapes based on a combination of straight edges, the ellipse tool, 
and occasionally the pen tool. So give the rest of these a try, and hopefully you'll get a better sense for how to sort of construct your line work. Have fun!